Back here in Lagos, it was a bleak Sunday for some residents of Bashiru Street, Ojodu, Lagos, as a fire incident left occupants of a two-story building temporarily homeless. Still in the state, in Ijegung, an uncompleted building collapsed. No fatality was recorded at both sites. Our correspondent Harriet Agbain reports. Lightning, they say, doesn't strike twice at the same spot, but this situation negates that cliché. Barely seven days after this building collapsed on Bashiru Street, Ujudu, a suburb in Isheri, Lagos, with one fatality, residents of this street have once again been thrown into pandemonium. This time, it's a fire disaster. <laughs> Occupants of the 27 apartment two-story building sometime around 8 and 8.15 a.m. called the state fire service to report the incident. When the truffle truck at Alasa arrived, they discovered that it was a very serious fire. So I have to turn out two other fire trucks, one from Ikeja and Elupeju, making three fire trucks from Lagos State Fire Service, and they responded promptly. While fighting the fire, what we suspected uh, was that the fire started from the rear end in one of the uh, flats on the upper floor, and it started from a kitchen. So we probably think that the fire might have been as a result of probably somebody cooking and he left it unattended to. Officials of the National Emergency Management Agency, who also responded to the distress call, shared some distressing information about the building. This uh, very house is, on, is undergoing integrity test and uh, the occupants were supposed to have been ejected within 24 hours, but because of the humanitarian implication, involved in just getting people out on an emergency basis, displacing them and causing distress to them. We thought we could wait for some time for them to move out on their own. But presently now, there is no option than moving now. Still trying to recover from the disaster on Bashiru Street, Nema is summoned to Liverpool Estate Zone through Ijegu, Old Ojo Road, scene of another calamity. If you don't take emergency management into your as your own property, your your own safety as your own priority. Anybody who wants to build should look for competent qualified and registered engineers to take care of the job. So that at least you'll be sure that the job you are doing or somebody is doing for you meets up to the government approved standard. Now with what has happened, I think the next thing we do is that we are having an, uh, an emergency escrow meeting this evening. We put up a monitoring committee where we pick some professionals that know something about building. So that anybody putting up any building, they will go there, test the tensile, the strength of the material, the quality of the materials they are using, check the competence of those who are in charge of the building, and make sure that all the government radar procedures are complied with. Disasters like this can happen at any time. Thankfully, no lives are lost in those incidents, but nothing should be left to chance. Appropriate measures should be taken to prevent a recurrence. Harriet Agbini, Channels Television.